Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to the shop. And today I'm going to be showing you how to hook up an industrial pressure transducer and interface it with an Arduino and display the values onto an LCD screen. So there's a number of sensors that you can use and interface with an Arduino or a microcontroller. Um, but the goal here is to take an industrial version of a sensor that you can use in an industrial application, i.e. In my case, I want to use this in an automotive application and measure, let's say, oil pressure or air pressure or fuel pressure for that matter, and use it in that industrial environment, have that sensor be able to survive that type of environment, but run the values back to a computer, in this case, this microcontroller, and then display it onto a screen that's readable to the human eye and um, is understandable to, to you in real time. So I want to take this industrial sensor and read a, let's say, oil PSI value of, of my engine while it's running. I'll be linking all of this in the description below. Um, you can pick up these pressure transducers off of Amazon, these LCD displays off of Amazon, breadboards, Arduino kit, everything here. I'll link down below in case you want to purchase it and, and use it to, for your own projects. All right, so in this case, I'm gonna be using an LCD screen over the I squared C uh, communication bus with the Arduino to communicate those values from the sensor through the microcontroller to the screen. Um, I'd really recommend if you have a smaller, so this is the uh, four by 20 LCD screen. If you have the smaller two by 16 screen, I would recommend getting these backpacks that you can put on to the back of the screens to use the I squared C communication interface. Otherwise, you're going to have to use all these pins or most of these pins to interface it to the Arduino. Or in this case, it's super simple with the I squared C. All you have to use is, you can see here is four pins and those pins are ground and then the five volt and then a data pin and a clock pin. And those easily interface with the Arduino ground, the ground five volt, and then you can use the clock and data pins, which are on, on this side. You can see the SDA and SCL just at the back here. All right, so just showing you how everything's connected. So this pressure transducer has three wires on it. Um, if I pull open the connection here, you can see how this is, it's got three pins on it. And then there's the female end. So that just plugs in there nice and easy. So you can, let's say, plug that into your engine block and then easily unplug that. Um, so there's three wires on there. This red wire is positive, goes to five volt positive. The ground goes to ground. And then this green wire is the, the output for the voltage going into the analog signal. So that green wire, you'll want to interface with one of your input analog pins on your Arduino. So in this case, I'm taking that and running that over to A0 on the Arduino. And then, like I said, for the LCD screen, I'm running my ground pin to ground on the Arduino, VCC to five volts on the Arduino, SDA to the SDA pin on the Arduino, and then the SCL to the SCL pin on the Arduino. So over here is the ground and five volt, if you can see that. And, and then on this side is where the SCL and SDA pins should be labeled on your Arduino. All right, so here's a quick demonstration of me just using my mouth to blow onto the pressure transducer, and then we'll see what the values are on the screen. And then I can also um, use it as a vacuum. I'm not sure how accurate the vacuum side would be, but it works anyways. Pressure transducer and the LCD screen, I'll be running this line by line. If you want this code, I'll be putting it down in the des description box below. If you have any questions, feel free to con contact me at my email here. So this is just an example on how to take this pressure transducer, um, read that value both on serial and then to display it onto an LCD screen. So these two includes here are just to use with the I, I squared C and interfacing with the LCD screen. Then coming down these constant integers, constant integer pressure input. This is just to define the analog input pin for the pressure transducer. So you can use A0, 1, 2, 3, or 4, or 5, or however many input pins you have on your Arduino. In this case, I'm using the Arduino Uno constant integer pressure zero. So I'll scooch over to the notepad here and show you where these value, values are coming from. 
but the the pressure transducer at 0 PS, PSI and at 100 PSI, because I'm using a 100 PSI transducer, inputs a certain value at 0 PSI and at 100 PSI um, on the analog pins. So I'll show you over here. All right, so just to show you real quick and so you understand how this works, um, the analog read function in the Arduino IDE um, essentially how that works is you put analog read in brackets and then what that does is it takes the analog voltage value from the input of that pin, whichever pin that you select, and it converts it to some digital, or sorry, not, uh, it, it converts it to a number between 0 and 123. So that's 1024 values that it can convert from a voltage that's being input to the analog pin. So if you come down here, um, where I got those two numbers previously, the 102.4 and the 921.6, so you just take a quick conversion equation. So there's 1,024 1, values that are possible, right? So we have X over 1,024 is gonna be equal to 0.5 over five volts. Now this is because the pressure transducer on Amazon, there's a sheet that says at 0.5 volts, the pressure transducer reads zero PSI. And then at, oh, sorry, I wrote this wrong. That's supposed to be a four. Uh, at 4.5 volts, it's supposed to read 100 PSI. So you just do this quick um, equation or quick uh, calculation here, and you can figure out that, okay, so at this value, um, so at 0.5 volts, what's my analog value going to be? So at 0.5 volts divided by 5, and then you just multiply that by 1024, um, that value gives you 102.4. So that's what the analog input um, integer is going to be at zero psi, and then you can do the same thing to figure out what <clears throat> to figure out what your value is going to be at a hundred psi. So in this case, it's nine twenty one point six. And then I'll jump down here and show you how to convert from that analog value into a voltage value. Um, but I'll jump back to the code here and just run you through the code, and then I'll I'll pop back over here to show you this equation again once we uh, want to convert that value to voltage. Those two numbers from. Um, as shown before. So the next thing is the constant integer. So I just define that as pressure transducer max PSI. So depending on the transducer that you get, just input that number here. So in this case, I have a 100 PSI transducer. So I'm putting that down as 100. I have a couple 30 PSI transducers on the way too. So it'd be super easy to interface them um, with those ones because all you have to do is just change that number. Okay, so baud rate, this is just to set the baud rate um, for the serial monitor. And then sensor read delay, this is the delay in milliseconds between um, reading the values and displaying it to the screen so that way um, it just slows it down a little bit. And then float pressure value, so float is to, to make sure that I can read the values as decimal points. Um, I just define that as pressure values and that's the variable that I can store um, those values coming in. So this liquid crystal underscore I2C, this is the, um, this initializes the LCD screen. So the format here is just LCD and then bracket, that's your um, address of the LCD screen. Um, in my case, that's 0x3f. So this is for I squared C communication. Um, your screen might be different. Um, there's another sketch that you can run uh, to figure out what the address is of your LCD screen is. Um, and then this is the amount of columns there and then the amount of rows on the LCD screen. And then you come down to void setup. So this is the routine that runs once when the system's turned on or is reset. So in this case I'm doing serial.begin and then it's at my baud rate. So that initializes my serial communication in bits per second. And then I come down to lcd.begin, so this is, initializes my LCD screen. And then I'll come down to the loop portion, um, and this runs over and over again. So I'm taking pressure value equals analog read at my pressure input pin, so this is at A0. And this reads my value and then assigns it to that variable pressure value. So pressure value, I then take that and do this conversion equation because I want to convert it into to PSI. So 
I'll flip back over to the notepad here and show you what that conversion means. But I just I'll show you real quick if I take this and then upload it to the Arduino. I'll show you that my number does make sense because at zero psi it should read the 102.4 of that analog reading. All right, so this is with my code uploaded with the without the uh, um, conversion equation on there. So as you can see, my numbers do um, make sense. We're at zero psi right now. Okay, nothing's no pressure is being put on the sensor, and we have a value of 102 um, coming out of that that number. So I don't have this value floated, so I can't see the the digital number, but I'm not looking for that precise of a number anyways for my PSI value. I, I in theory, I guess I could change the code a little bit to get this a little bit more accurate. Um, but as of right now, this number is not being floated, but my, um, my converted value is being floated. All right, now, so for the conversion equation, because that lower value does not start, here, let me bring this up a little, because that lower value does not start at um, zero and it starts at 102. I have to take whatever that um, incoming value is and then minus that lower um, the no lower number, so the 102. And then I basically just uh, div I'll mu multiply that by the psi of the transducer that you're using and then divide that by the total range from the max value to the minimum value of your um, pressure transducer is and then that'll give you a number that's output in psi. So that's assuming that the relationship between the voltage and the PSI is linear, because if it isn't, then this equation would have to be different. So at zero, um, in this case, if zero volts should be linear to, so zero volts incoming is zero PSI. Um, actually, sorry, it starts at zero. Zero PSI is 0 0.5 volts, and then at 4.5 volts, um, it's assuming that 100 PSI in between all these values is linear. So that's the way that equation is working. Now, a way that I can confirm this back on the Arduino to the analog input pin is I can take my, um, my small multimeter in this case, and then I can go between the input of the analog pin. So this is at zero PSI, nothing's being on, pushed on the pressure transducer. And then I can go to the ground pin here, let me see, just so you can read that. And then I can put that to the ground pin, and then that should read about 0.5 volts. I don't know if you can see that, there's a bit of a glare. Um, yeah, so that's 0.5 volts. So that confirms the fact that at 0.5 volts, the pressure transducer is reading zero PSI. Now, I don't have a um, the proper adapters right now for my air compressor, but in theory, I could take my air compressor and then uh, a gauge on that air compressor, put it, or sorry, a regulator on the air compressor and put it at 100 PSI. And then I could test this sensor by putting 100 PSI of air pressure force on this and then confirm that value before going through this. And then I could do that at a range of values um, between zero and, and 100 PSI just to see if that equation makes sense. Um, that's where I got that equation from. So that's the conversion equation to go from my analog value into a PSI value. Now I can do, I can display this either onto the serial monitor or at the same time I can display it onto the LCD screen. So we'll take a quick look at the serial monitor here. Um, but this is how I get it to display on the serial monitor. So serial.print and then pressure value, which is this, and then to one, one decimal place. So we'll take a quick look at the serial monitor, yep. And then this is showing my zero PSI. I'll give this a quick change, see if that changes. So with my mouth, I can blow it up to 1.7 PSI. So moving on in the code, um, serial.println PSI, that just prints the label to the serial monitor. And then to get it to display onto the LCD screen, lcd.setcursor at zero, uh, column zero and row zero. And then I'm printing the label pressure in in front of the value that's going to be printed. And then lcd.print, and then I'm taking lcd.print pressure value, so that's this. And then I want that printed out to one decimal place. And that I can do that because I floated the value um, at the beginning. 
and then I'll print the label PSI right after it. And then this um, I had to put in because you need a way to clear the the LCD screen um, if that value goes over two digits or into the negatives because if you print it and then allow it to, to go through the loop again, sometimes the I will stay at the end. So this is an easy way to clear to clear the screen without having to clear the entire screen. So you have to that clears just the digits right after PSI. And then this is my delay between values um, between reading each value. So let's take one final look at the screen, see what it looks like. All right, so now that we've taken a full look at the code, here's the screen and here's my pressure transducer. I'll give it one final blow. All right, so that shows that my pressure transducer is working as a pressure uh, sensor here, and then I can read it and output it to some um, PSI value and display it on the screen. So hopefully that helps, and thanks for watching. Um, stay tuned for some more projects in the future because I'm planning on making this a larger scale project for my truck because I want to I want to use it as a pre. Um, so my truck is an older 92 Dodge. I want to use it as a pre OBD2 kind of computer for the truck. So I'll have various input sensor values from ranging from oil pressure to fuel pressure to uh, turbo pressure. And then I also want to monitor the incoming voltage from the battery. So I've got a couple things. A couple things still need to come in the mail, but I've got this. This is a voltage. Um, sensor so I can read the the voltage value on my battery and see how it's doing and then this is a voltage regulator so I can uh, regulate the incoming voltage from 12 volts down to 5 volts for the Arduino um, computer system and then I have a few more things coming so I actually have a I don't have it down here but I have a um, a pyro uh, K-type thermocouple, so it's to measure your exhaust gas temperatures, and then I'll be able to interface that with the Arduino as well. And then I've got a couple other small goodies too that I'm looking into, um, but this will be kind of my ongoing project. So if you want to stay tuned and see how I evolve that project moving forward, keep watching. I'll be doing individual breakdown videos kind of like this into each sensor and then being able to display it onto a screen. And then that way we can learn together and then evolve this project um, kind of into the future and see how it goes. So thanks for watching and stay tuned for more videos.